The man who'd become the Mahatma wasn't able to complete his train trip in 1912, but Peter Marisberg marked a crossroads in the journey of his life. This was commemorated on the second day of the celebrations with the dignitaries boarding a replica train. What should have been a routine train journey for Mohandas Gandhi came to a jarring end in Peter Marisberg, but it marked a point in his life when he would make an unwavering decision to either return to India or stand his ground. Being thrown off the train was by no means the first racially based indignity that he had suffered, nor would it be the last. It was, however, as a result of this experience that he began to consciously develop a strategy of resistance that would go beyond merely redressing a personal injury and instead begin a non-violent struggle against general oppression. This was the dawn of Satyagraha, or resistance by speaking truth to power. 125 years ago, Peter Marisberg station must have seemed pretty cheerless in the early morning light, but now it was transformed into a place of celebration. It's day two of the commemoration and I am standing on the actual platform where that event took place 125 years ago, which effectively changed the course of history. Linking the past to the present, Dr. Srinivasa sketched the background to the events of the day. Today, as you would know, that this is the 125th anniversary of the commemoration of the incident where uh, Mahatma Gandhiji was evicted from a train in the Peter Maritzburg station. And uh, he perfected the art of uh, non-violent struggle. And Gandhiji is on record saying that uh, even though he was born in India, he was made in South Africa. The Mahatma stood for non-violence. How do we carry that message forward, especially in today's time? Just speak the truth and at the same time, Sarvodaya, that's one, one of the principles that uh, Gandhiji always had, upliftment of everybody, no discrimination. There's a bright future ahead of us if we follow these ideals. Gandhiji underwent a metamorphosis and this would now be expressed symbolically. A double-sided bust will also be unveiled today, which represents Mahatma Gandhi as a lawyer and his transformation that he underwent here in South Africa. Drawn by a 76-year-old locomotive, the commemorative train was garlanded and draped in the homespun cloth called Kadi, which Gandhiji had also used in his struggle against the Raj and his support for India's independence movement. their way from the platform to front of the station, the guests were addressed by Dr. Birad Yagnik and the High Commissioner. As we commemorate the 125th anniversary of the incident which gave us Satyagraha, the most powerful weapon known to mankind. Gandhiji was the most enlightened political man of our time, marked by gentleness, disinterestedness, simplicity of soul and forgiveness of enemies. Naturally, the bus became the focus of attention and it's a worthy addition to the historic landmarks of Peter Marisberg. As I sit here in a replica of the very carriage that Gandhiji was thrown out of, reflecting on his commemoration, I realize now that his message of non-violence is more important now than ever.